What's up, Wildcats? On this last edition of Arizona All Access, we've taken a trip here into the weight room to talk with Arizona Football's Director of Strength and Conditioning, Tyler Owens, better known as T.O. Finish to the end zone! Now, T.O., a big talking point this past spring was the many body transformations that a lot of our guys went under during the off season. So for you, what is your approach when a guy wants to bulk up? You know, really, it's just a well-rounded uh, approach um, and having a process to get there. So what we do in the weight room, aligning your nutrition goals with that and Miranda and doing a great job there. And then also your recovery um, with uh, Kevin and our athletic training staff. Is there a recent success story that you are most proud of? You know, honestly, we've had a phenomenal offseason with all of our guys. Uh, you know, it's hard to point out one or two. You know, I mean, obviously, you could look at T Mac, who's went from 180 to 200, Big Jonah, who went from 360 down to 325. So, I mean, we have a lot of success stories of guys that just bought into the program and, and doing what we asked them to do, and the, they, they reap the results of it. What is that ratio of conditioning of sprinting to weightlifting it just depends on the time of the year so you know when we first start in January you know typically we'll be lifting four times a week and on the field uh, you know two to three times a week and as you get closer to football obviously uh, you know the running starts increasing so we go up to four times a week on the field of doing some sort of sprinting and change of direction and then um, about three times a week in the weight room um, and then kind of that mirrors in the summer we start early on with four times a week in the weight room with about three times a week on field and then as as we get closer to fall camp in the season, um, it cranks up to about four or five times a week on the field and then um, three, three or four times a week in the weight room. Do you customize the training schedules and the, the weight room regimes for position groups in here? Yeah, so I mean, obviously the way we break it down is, is football overall has its demands itself. And then underneath that, you know, you have offensive linemen and defensive linemen. They have certain demands of, that the sport demands of them. Then you have your receivers and DBs and you have your linebackers, tight ends and running backs kind of all in between there. And then your quarterback so you know I'd say there's a demand of football and then underneath that there's the demand positionally of what um, of what each position demands and then underneath that it's how can we help each individual be successful in whatever their position is with all the technology things we have and all the um, different things we're able to do with the staff I have um, gets individualized from there on that topic of technology it is scattered throughout here and all these different pieces of equipment. How do you and your staff use those devices? I played football. I grew up in a time where, you know, it wasn't really um, a huge part of it. Um, now, every single day, it seems like more and more, it's getting more integrated and more a part of the approach. So we have elite form at every rack um, to track every lift. Um, we have 1080 sprints to be able to program and uh, sprint profile guys from a speed perspective. We have force plates and Nord boards. We have EMG. Every single thing we need, we have, um, which is fortunate to be able to have those resources here. And then from that standpoint, you know, we just don't want to guess. You know, every single one of our players' uh, career is important, and uh, I don't want to guess with their career. Um, it's important that we uncover every stone to help them be successful. What is your favorite part of your job? By far, the relationships and the time spent with the players. You know, you're with them year round. You get to see them go through all the hard challenging times and you get to see them on Saturday reap the benefits of it. Um, so I think just overall seeing the process of a guy come in as a freshman and then what he leaves as as a junior or senior and um, see the process that you put into play go to work and change change kids lives. I mean you guys are with them the moment they come in as a freshman to hopefully training for pro day one day yeah. so it's really cool all the work you guys do with them. Thank you for your time today Tio. Yeah absolutely.